How's it going everyone? My name is Nori Plays and welcome back again to the channel. In this one, we've got some more gesture, but this time I'm doing it properly. Because I believe it or not, throughout the entire 10 days we haven't been doing gesture properly. I'm pretty sure we drew this image somewhere near the start of our days, but this one. This in gesture wouldn't be broken down into basic shapes. Gesture's not about breaking things down into basic shapes. Just gesture's about finding the flow of the image the flow okay this is a big one so the way the image flows in this case boom like this because it flows onto her if i drag this over flows onto her dominant leg yeah, so it goes like this this is the way this image is read this is a this is what you call a line of action so a line of action basically describes the whole image um, and how you read it. So if we just recreate this line. We can now uh, work over this, right? And the main rule for gesture is you either use a curved line. An S. Or a straight line. The CSI. <laughs> That's for basically that means uh, I've learned that from Proko. So I've, I've, I've learned a lot. Just by watching his video on it. You guys should check it out as well if you need help figuring out gesture. Uh, it's really cool. I figured out so, so much doing this. Yeah, because now what I'm doing is I'm not... I still am kind of breaking it down into basic shapes. But now I'm breaking it down into more of his forms now. See, like this, and then the arm. And it goes like that. Towards the leg. The chest sticks out, like that. Again, if you want to make it look more dynamic, you follow the line of gesture, okay? Make sure you follow it. Like this. And it will look terrible because I haven't done gesture before. I haven't done gesture well enough before. And then you break it down into triangles. And we're going to be doing this with a lot of drawings today. Because I really want to master and get the hang of gesture for this video. So that when we do it again, we don't really have to worry about too much. See, this image now has a lot more flow and it looks a lot more animated than it did before. Now if we break this down into forms, you can see there's a lot more happening. So we're going to be doing just this. Just this. Breaking it down into basic shapes using only curves and things like that to help build our confidence in drawing basically of that i don't know if i'm happy with that we might even restart because i really want to take my time to learn this properly and not just rush through it these usually take artists like i want to say up to 10 minutes max <laughs> it's just so funny because something so simple is so hard for me to do i've never experienced this before I think it's better if we lower our brush size for this one. So we can clearly see, like... What's happening here? Maybe the line... Maybe the line's going like this. Nah, I think it's going like that, to be honest. But I'm ha I'm really struggling here. <laughs> it almost... Her leg almost looks fucking... Bent the wrong way because it is it is bent the wrong way it's so annoying i'm so annoyed with this i'm struggling i'm struggling ah oh, you know what i'll i'll accept it we'll learn we'll learn but if i'm stuck on one photo i'm just having bad premonitions about this because this stuff shouldn't take long but it is taking long 
Um, okay, let's try a more basic one. I don't even know if this will be basic. The pose looks basic, but doesn't mean the gesture is going to be basic. <laughs> Look how scratchy my fucking lines are, man. Like, it's so annoying. Like, what is happening there? Jewelry using one line. Brain. <laughs> oh. Yeah, whatever. That counts. The main motion is there. It's exaggerated. I guess. That's my problem, I don't know how to exaggerate these things. It's crazy, it's like, it's annoying me, it's annoying me super badly. Okay. That's our first group. Okay, so from here, I think I'm just gonna speed run because I really need to just focus if I want to do this well. So, it's gonna be another video where I just kinda do it quick, but... Hopefully, we improve at doing this. This is not easy stuff, it's not, but once we have the hang of this, we can pretty much make any drawing because we can pose it really well. So yeah, let's just go ahead and do some speed art.
Okay, I'm done. I feel like we have a <laughs> a long journey to go with gesture until I get it right. I think I just need to do loads of drawings. In this in this day alone, we did 26 gestures, so that's gonna really help my brain kind of ingrain itself, sponge up all the information. And then hopefully we can do these faster and faster and more accurately and more accurately and just keep just keep improving because this is a core skill to have. You need this um, in order to build your characters, like build a sketch of a character uh, in proportion and with interest, right? So that it reads nicely. Because a lot of my drawings have been stiff recently because, again, we've been using the blocks. So now it's time to level up, like really level up and keep using gesture the actual way now. Now that we've done a bunch of cylinder studies, we can now just use gesture. Like straight up, just learn that. And then hopefully, within a few days, uh, I don't expect to become insane at it yet, but I feel like a lot of time is going to be spent doing this. So, as always, if you guys enjoy, make sure you smash the like button, comment down below, and subscribe if you're new. But apart from that, I'll see all of you amazing people in the next one. Peace out.